biggest game of the season so far, according to Maurizio Pochettino. Chelsea versus Middlesbrough in the second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final. Wembley awaits for one of these teams. Borough hold a slender one-goal advantage after the first leg on Teesside. Now Chelsea need the Stamford Bridge faithful to help them overturn the deficit and book a place in next month's final. Two changes for Chelsea from the team that started against Fulham here. Ben Chilwell returns as captain on his first start since September. The other alteration sees Mikhailo Mudrik come in for Conor Gallagher. Mudrik was the hero against Newcastle here in the quarter-final. Mano Gusto is the latest injury victim, so we're expecting Axel Dizazi to start at right back. Borough make three changes from the first leg. Isaiah Jones, so influential at the Riverside, is injured. Johnny Housen has passed the late fitness test, but Borough, as I say, heavily depleted. Latte Lath amongst the injured. Three players are on international duty, and three are cup tied. We're going to have a minute's applause before kickoff. Tommy Baldwin passed away yesterday. 92 goals in 239 games. The key player in the first Chelsea side to win the FA Cup in 1970 and the Cup Winners' Cup the following season. Silva looking for the run of Chua, which is a really good one, and he challenges Glover. Oh, and it's just wide. He says he was fouled by the goalkeeper, who was brave to go for it because he could have taken a whack. Lovely bit of vision from Thiago Silva, but how about the run from Ben Chilwell? Palmer drifting out into a wide position. Chua had to race to get to the ball ahead of fours. He did well, and he did even better to keep it away from Crooks, and that's a lovely pass as well. And here's Raheem Sterling back for Breuer. 1 0 Chelsea. Borough's lead wiped out. A big, big goal from Armando Breuer. A lovely Chelsea move. Breuer had a bit to do with the finish, but he made sure that he did it. It's Chelsea 1, Borough 0. Who got the vital touch there? It might have been Johnny Housen. The replay will clear it up. All we know for sure at the moment is that Chelsea are 1-0 up. We don't need to worry about any intervention from the officials. as he's seen plenty of it. Chelsea using the whip whenever they can. They might be able to get on the end of this as well. Cut back for Breuer. There's Enzo Fernandez. It's two. Chelsea ahead in the tie for the first time. Enzo Fernandez with his second goal in the Carabao Cup this season. And the Blues double their lead just before the half hour. Well, measured. Intricate football once more. The big moment, I think, is Dizazi making it to the pass before Clark. This little reverse pass, flick from Sterling. Clark just hesitates. Boyers is a shot, but it turns into the most perfect of passes. You see it again here with Sterling's little flick, and then Clark just hesitated and allowed Dizazi to get to that ball, and that little miss it, if you like, turns into the perfect assist. For Enzo Fernandez is not going to miss from there. What eight yards out? just steers it into the roof of the net, away from Glover. Palmer, lovely take, nice pass, Fernandez for three. If he caught hold of it, Glover would have had a big problem. Yeah, I think he should score here. Brilliant from Palmer, we've seen that. Well, we saw it against Fulham, didn't we, a few weeks ago, the reverse pass. They've certainly shown that they're capable of doing something on the break. Three minutes, a different story, though. And here's Sterling. Dizazi's continued his run. Here's Axel Dizazi! Oh, what a goal! How about that? Axel Dizazi with a moment to remember. And Chelsea are 3-0 up. And they look as though they're on their way to Wembley. He started it, and boy, did he finish it. It's been a breathtaking 15 minutes or so. And once again, feature of the first half, really. So aggressive, those Chelsea defenders stepping out and winning that first ball. He's so determined there in front of Hackney. 
Palmer's delivery really good and just continue his run and then it's all about can Sterling find the, the pace on the pass I suppose and the angle because Matt Clark's closing him down but he just feeds it into Dizazi doesn't have to break his stride wonderful goal Oh, mistake has given Palmer the ball. He can score. He has. Cole Palmer makes it 4 0 to Chelsea. Another goal for him this season. He's up to double figures now. This one came with a bow on it, I'm afraid, from a Middlesbrough perspective. But Palmer, who so struggled to find the net at the Riverside, has exercised those demons here in the first half. A fourth goal for the Blues. Is it Wembley? Here we come. It certainly looks that way. Chilwell playing right wing for the moment. Finding Colwell. And he's looking to bend one. And if it had come back a little bit later, it would have been a big problem for Glover. Yeah, good decision. Excellent play. Good awareness, I think, from Levi Colwell that the opportunity was on to strike. That wand disguised in a football boot with the left foot. And Sterling. Silva. Casado. Palmer, brilliant. Didn't I see him looking for his second of the night? He's annoyed he didn't get it. Yeah, it's a beautiful pass. Palmer, beautifully timed run. He's just trying to help it into the far corner of the net. He doesn't get anything on it. It's difficult with that spin on it. Probably trying to keep it a tight game. Oh, Palmer for five, brilliant. You don't leave him alone like that, he'll punish you. He's ruthless, Cole Palmer. 11 goals for the season now. It's only January. He's already beaten Chelsea's top scorer in all competitions last term. Well, lots of people would like his shirt. Lots of people would like him in their team as well. A man in form, 21 years of age with the world at his feet, Cole Palmer. Yeah, he's been great again tonight. It's as much about the ball from Gallagher, though, I would say. It's really good on his weaker side. The pace he gets on that, that he generates. And the direction is perfect. It's still quite a tough skill for Palmer to execute. Opening up the body, weaker foot. Can you get the, the purchase, I suppose, is the big thing. It's perfect. Madweke. Could be six here. Noni Madweke, there it is. Came off Van der Berg on the line, but Madweke will have that one. Chelsea hit Borough for six on the way to Wembley. It's another really good pass. I think it was Conor Gallagher once more. And Matt Clark had a bit of a problem because if he makes a challenge, it's going to be... A penalty, inevitably, they try and build down the left-hand side and once more, just not comfortable with the ball, but Chelsea's pressure once again good. Conor Gallagher with a reverse pass, and we know when he opens up the goal like that onto his left foot, there's probably only going to be one outcome. Vandenberg does his best to get back behind Glover and clear Middlesbrough's lines, but can only divert it into the roof of the net. And Madweck is going to get plenty of these goals on his left side. Looked like it was going to turn inside. The far corner in any case, but Vandenberg's the unlucky Middlesbrough man. Just thinking that Madweke had been a little quiet since his uh, introduction, but the last kind of five minutes he's sprung into life. Oh, Borough have got one back. No, they haven't. The flag's gone up. Matt Crooks and 4,000 Smuggies are disappointed. They're going to celebrate it like it stood anyway. Why not? Special moment now for Leo Castledine, who's going to come on and make his Chelsea debut in place of Raheem Sterling. Castledine, who's been starring for the Dev squad this season. Player of real promise, attacking midfielder. England under-19 international, only 18 years of age. From a footballing family, his dad, Stuart, played for Wimbledon. And this is something, Sam, that we've been hoping, expecting to see for quite a while now. He's been on the bench, it feels like pretty much the majority of the season, and now he's onto the pitch. Still waiting to see the best 
of a fit Christopher Nkunku. Mostly for Fan and Reese James, Romeo Lavia are all out, but Rogers has a go and he's found the net, and that one will count. Lovely finish from Morgan Rogers. No clean sheet for Georgia Petrovic, but it's something legitimate for the Middlesbrough fans to celebrate. It was actually a brilliant bit of movement from Rogers, just spun off his shoulder inside left channel and the finish is brilliant he takes it so quickly just shifted it and then let fly got back on side brilliant run down the side of Dizazi he's got Lewis O'Brien in support a magnificent way to reach the final of the Carabao Cup Chelsea have thrashed Middlesbrough in the second leg here it's 6-1